Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with a new video. This video is all about a CMS named as Sapphire Connect for PC. So in this video, we are going to describe you what is Sapphire Connect for PC, what is the feature. So and after that, we will describe you, explain you that how you get the file, how you configure them and how you make them live. So keep watching till end and please like, share, subscribe our channel. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one. And this video is totally for educational purpose and for the tutorial purpose means the person who, do, who doesn't know how to install them and how you configure them. So if they are able to make, make it live. So basically what is Safari Connect for PC? This is Safari Connect for PC is a software which are used to view remote area or multi area devices to a single place you are able to manage multi devices on a single place and you are able to view multiple cameras on a single place so in simple words we can say that this is a cctv monitoring cms that runs on your computer but this application is more than that this is video management application for the computer which can handle all the functions that can be performed by cctv monitoring device like DVR and VR. By this program, you will be able to make multiple viewpoints for a different location and different person for the local network or the external network. Now, if we are talking about its feature, then you are able to monitor the CCTV cameras. You can even check the camera recording playback. You can adjust the live stream of the cameras. You can able to manage color and brightness or uh, all the things needed to camera you can make different group you can manage pdz controls like painted and zoom and it is it, it this cms have a multilingual supports one, one more thing i would like to discuss tell you that what are the minimum system requirement for the software program so in my opinion first thing you should install that you have a Windows operating system, Windows 7, 8, 10, or 11. And after that, you have Core i5 processor or equivalent processor. And if you are talking about the RAM, then we should it should take minimum 4 GB of RAM. And if you are talking about the free space of the hard disk, then at least 500 MB for the hard disk and some software some cms will want the more space in in the hard disk because it, if you if you record the particular camera then what where that data will be stored so that's why i'm saying that minimum 500 mb of free space it, it needed and please install a uh, prerequisite properly every software have a different prerequisite now we will discuss the particular part of the video means how we get the file how we download and how we install them so keep watching till end